Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning. My name is Jesse. I'm the worship pastor at Calvary, and I will be sharing your word for the day. Today we are in Matthew 28, 1 through 10, and we will be reading about the resurrection of Christ. So let's read together. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. What an incredible encounter to have witnessed, to see Jesus alive after his crucifixion, and then get to go and share it must have been such an incredible excitement and joy. We also get to share that excitement and hope as well today. As followers of Jesus, we have the honor of sharing the good news with others in our lives, what a great reminder of how much God loves us. We saw the suffering Jesus went through to show us what love looks like. We get to live in freedom because of that love and forgiveness. If you are carrying a burden today, lay it at the feet of Jesus. Ask him to help you, to give you strength and endurance. Walk in obedience because you love God and desire to follow his will and his way. Invite someone to church or for a meal and share the story of how God has changed your life. Let's all take a moment today to thank God for all that he's done for us, how he rescued, redeemed, and gave us new life. Let's celebrate this week in gratitude and praise to God. Have a blessed week, and we look forward to seeing you at a service this Easter weekend. Invite someone this weekend and be praying that they too will receive the good news of God and become a follower of Jesus. Have a great day.